welcome to the blue corner my name is Dennis and it's time for my October collection update video and with this video we are finally up to date after my one year's break of YouTube yeah I can't believe it I was off that long and it's taking me this long to catch up but yeah it's my October pickup video so let's just get straight into it as usual let's just start off with the blu-rays from America I picked up Who's Harry Crumb trying to build the John Candy collection a little bit and this was cheap and I didn't remember if I had seen this before or not and sure enough I had it's a fun little comedy but it's it's not up there with his bests so I guess that's why I didn't remember it all that well a couple of titles on Facebook again I, I don't have many Facebook pickups this month but first I picked up was shoot em up fun little action movie and it's just over the top and right down my alley <laughs> so I, I actually thought I had this one but didn't find it when I was going through the collection so yeah now I do a few more for the Van Damme collection first I picked up Pound of Flesh didn't even know this had a Danish release so I was a bit surprised when I saw this on Facebook uh, I don't remember this all that well <laughs> It's it's in the line of Van Damme movies that's not really that great, so most of them are pretty forgetful. But I do believe this is the one where he wakes up missing a liver, something like that. Uh, so, something with organ thieves. Alright. Yeah, it's in the collection. The Order, um, yeah, don't really care for this movie, <laughs> and it, it was just, he had, the, the seller had to buy three for around ten dollars, I believe it is in, the, in dollars, so I, I, I didn't have this in the Van Damme collection, so I just, well, I don't like it, but that's just pick that up you, you had to buy three for him to be willing to send them so uh, and here in Denmark the newest th this isn't a Facebook pickup this is brand new title the, the latest Bruce, Will Bruce Willis title corrective measures corrective measures that's how you say it. yeah and um, I actually thought this it's a stupid movie it's, it's a superhero or super villain movie <laughs> prisoners with superpowers it, it's not a great movie but i actually had fun with it so this is not one of his worst movies that he's made recently but yeah of course bruce willis have to have it in the collection let's see a u.s title i picked up here in denmark dr lamb Oh, yeah, well, it, it is a Hong Kong movie released in America. I bought here in Denmark. <laughs> and we do have a Danish site that sells movies. And he imported, or the owner of the site, imported this home and put it up on his site. What he didn't notice was that he put the wrong price on it. So, let's see, this with him buying it from America and adding a little extra for him to make money off it it went for around I want to say for $40 in Denmark and with the price he put up I got it for $20 he wrote a one instead of two so I got it half off it's almost the same price as it is on Amazon on US Amazon 
but I didn't have to pay import taxes or the shipping from America. So I got a good deal on this and he honored, he was kind enough to honor the price. So I got it half off <laughs> and what a, it's category three movie for those of you that know what that means. It's a little twisted movie, <laughs> a lot of killing, a lot of tits and yeah, a lot of killing, twisted killing. And then uh, recently, there's been a lot of a lot of sales going around on the various sites. And actually, the only sale I partook in was on the site on one site that I really don't pay that much attention to. So I picked up a bunch of titles from Powerhouse from the Indicator line. It, I don't pick up a, many Indicator titles because. They simply don't put out many movies that for me. <laughs> so I was surprised that I actually found six titles that I thought was worth picking up. So first up, I picked up Blue Collar. I recently saw this in another YouTuber's pickup video. Might have been Kermit's Ghosts. If I'm not mistaken, I, I do actually believe it was over at Alan's video or channel where I saw this and I remember having seen this years ago and I didn't know that it actually had a physical release so I decided well I want to see that again so I picked it up and I still quite enjoy it and it is the standard edition but Indicator is one of those labels where I'm not all that fussed about getting the limited edition or the standard edition. The limited edition only has a booklet and reversible cover artwork. Where the standard doesn't have reversible art and a booklet. And the artwork doesn't go all the way up to the top on the standard edition. <sighs> and, and booklets. I rarely read the booklets. I. But the booklets are just not for me, I guess, so I don't care that much about it. So I don't mind having the standard edition. <laughs> then I saw they had a bunch of Charles Bronson movies. Well, they had four where I had one of them, so I picked up three other Bronson movies where I picked up Breakout, again, standard edition. I did look a little confused on this title as it came in a blue case pretty sure it's not supposed to do that <laughs> I do believe I have a clear case I can put it in so yeah breakout I, I know I've seen this one before I haven't seen this blu-ray yet because like I said I know I've seen this before and I tried to watch as many of the ones I knew I hadn't seen before before recording this update so that I do remember him having to help break out a friend of his that got wrongly accused of murder, something like along those lines. So I'll have to get around to that. Then I picked up the Velchi, Velchi, Velchi papers. I don't know. This one is a limited edition, as you can see, it goes all the way up to the top, and it has a hefty booklet inside. Never seen this one before. Watched the Blu-ray and quite enjoyed it. It is a mob movie, so I I, I like mob movies, Goodfellas, Casino, all those movies. So of course, this was right down my alley, and I quite enjoyed it. So this is well worth the watch. The Valdez horses, uh, Chino. I, I do believe that it's Chino. That has alternate artwork, and it does. I, it does have this artwork, but I, I do believe it's Chino, something along that line. That's the original title. I I don't know who came up with Valdez horses, but that's that's okay. It, this one I did actually expect to like a bit more than I did. It's a tad slow for Western and. Not much really happens in the movie. <laughs> I, 
yeah, uh, it's a slow movie. And it also stars Jill Island, his second wife, which is actually in several of these. Yeah, Jill Island is in that one too. And Jill Island is in that one too. And that's it for the Bronson movies. Then I also picked up Moscow, Moscow on the Hudson, Robin Williams. This one I have been looking at before and just never pulled the trigger on. I really enjoy Robin Williams movies, even though I don't really have that many of them. So I decide, decided to get this one. I was quite surprised that it's been out for quite some time now and the limited edition was still floating around on the site. Not sold out yet. I would have thought that a Robin Williams movie would have sold better than this one apparently have. I don't know. And I thoroughly enjoyed the movie. And the last one from Indicator, Walter Hill movie, Geronimo. I, when I saw the pre-order for this go up, I was, okay, I, I want that movie. It's a Walter Hill movie. I know I've seen it before, way back when it came out. Just didn't remember it all that well, so decided to get it this time because I I did it, it wasn't important enough for me to get when it first came out at full price. I like I said I didn't remember it all that much, so I don't remember if I liked it or not. Now I do have it, and I quite enjoyed it. I completely forgot Matt Damon is in this movie, and. I don't even see it mentioned on the cover. He's in Patrick, Rubble the Wall, Green Hagen, West Duty. And no, no, no Matt Damon mentioned at all on the cover. <laughs> it, I guess that was a rather early Matt Damon. And nothing on the other side either. But yeah. I quite enjoyed the movie. So, let's see, let's next stack of Blu-rays. So, in the year of YouTube, I also, I talked about this before a little bit, I also slowed down on not buying so many, or I slowed down on buying movies. So I didn't pick up every title I thought I would like and that meant I missed out on some titles from Eureka, 88 Films, Hong Kong movies that in our days I pick up. So when I noticed a Danish site actually having this title with the slip cover and booklet, which has sold out on Eureka's own site, I okay, I gotta pick that on. So I picked up Johnny Toe's Throwdown, a judo movie. And a, what's the word, it dedicated to a, a Kurosawa. It's, it's not a bad movie, but it is a little slow movie. It's not, I wouldn't say it's the regular kind of style Johnny Toe makes his movies in. But I, did, I hadn't seen this before I got it. Like I said, it's not a bad movie, but it's not the Johnny Toe movie I would be rushing back to if I had to put one of his movies on. So, yeah, I, I was a little let down by this, so yeah. But I, it's a Johnny Toe movie. I I'll pick up any Johnny Toe movies pretty much. Also from Eureka. Finally, Angela Mao, Hapkido, Lady Wolverine came out. It was delayed for a few months. I don't know why, but that's the name of the game, I guess. If it meant it being a better presentation, I, I don't mind all that much. But again, I have talked about multiple movies. In one case, where you can see the artwork here. Lady Wolverine, 
no mention of Hapkido at all. You have to flip the cover to get that artwork. And I still don't like that. Surprise, surprise, I guess. <laughs> I, I don't get why Eureka feels they need to do. They have shown they know how to do proper box sets before. But I, I do like the artwork on the slipcover though. Thankfully I have the slipcover and my OCD with the co reversible covers in this case is not that bad. Lady Whirlwind was a first time watch. Hapkido I had seen before. Hapkido I really like. Lady Whirlwind was a little bit of a letdown. <laughs> Not nearly as good as Hokkido, so yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know Angela Mao all that much, so I haven't seen many of her movies. But it's Hokkido is well worth this set. Then, actually, the first release of the month I picked up the Sabata trilogy, still sealed as you can see. I tried to get around to watching these movies. I don't believe I've ever seen them before. But then I had a week and a half where I got really sick and watching stuff wasn't really in the program for me. <laughs> so I just, I, it was the flu, I was down, headache, not COVID, just regular flu, just really down, <laughs> tired. So I still don't, or still haven't seen this set, but hopefully I'll get around to it soon. And of course, at the point of time where I picked it up, it was just out of nowhere, I decided, okay, well, let, I want to pick something up, let's try that set. And of course, two days later, after mine shipped, they marked the price down. Five pounds. <sighs> Just my luck. It, it, granted, it's only five pounds, but it's still five pounds. <laughs> of course, my luck. <sighs> From 88 films, I picked up The Oily Maniac, <laughs> number nine in the 88 Asia collection. Um. I have been looking at what titles are in this Asia collection, Shaw Brothers, and I do prefer my martial arts movies, Kung Fu movies, and a lot of the titles that's in this line aren't martial arts movies, but there's actually a few of them that I kind of want to see that looks kind of interesting, that's more horror based, and I, this is one of the only ones that's Still not out of print. Amazon still have a few titles of or copies of this left, and it is pretty cheap. So I decided to get this because the reviews actually made it seem like it. It looks like a stupid, bad B movie, but it was supposedly more fun than you would think it was, and it is a remake of a very old. 40s, 50s, I, I, don't, I don't remember. But I don't know the original one, and I had never seen this one before. And having watched it now, I don't regret buying it. It is silly. It is a kind of superhero movie, I guess, where this guy gets oiled up and becomes this oily monster and taking out bad guys, I guess. <laughs> so it is. It is meant to be a horror movie-ish kind of movie. Yeah, I, it's it's a fun little silly horror superhero movie. <laughs> I I don't regret buying it. I'm just laughing at it. Then from 88 Films also, recently I picked up the one steelbook because it became half off. And there was no regular edition. I had been bugging 88 films on Twitter to put out the regular edition. And 
finally I just gave up and picked up the steelbook when they put it at half price. And of course now we have the regular edition. And I picked it up. Yeah. Jet Li. I'll support anything Jet Li. So I want more Jet Li so I pick up anything Jet Li. But I did pick I picked that one up because I also had to pick up or I wanted to pick this was the main title I wanted to pick up. Writing wrong and as usual get as much as you can for the shipping price you pay. The the shipping price was the same for one title as it was for both titles. So getting the one made it a little bit more worth it. <laughs> but yeah, I've been looking forward to this set for quite some time and it is a pretty hefty set. And it is one of my favorite Yun Bu movies that doesn't star Sammo Hong or Jackie Chan also. So this came out from Vinegar Syndrome a while ago. But with this one, I wanted the 88 films. It has four cuts of the movie, where Vinegar only has three of the movies. <laughs> so, yeah. And I... Uh, again, with the 88 drama that's been going on not too long ago, I, I don't support Bay Logan or him returning to 88 films. But I do support 88 films in general. But 88 films is really becoming my favorite label with all these Hong Kong editions. So this was a no brainer. Then the final Blu ray from Vinegar Syndrome. Speaking of Red Sun Rising, Don the Dragon Wilson. I just can't fathom that we're actually getting Don the Dragon Wilson movies in these limited or high quality limited edition editions where you have hard box and nice artwork, reversible cover and high quality Blu-rays. It's just it's right down my alley, so don't get me wrong, I love getting these titles. But never in my day would I have thought that we would see these titles come to Blu-ray. So, Red Sun Rising is a... It, I do remember it being one of my favorite Don the Dragon Wilson movies way back in the day. And I hadn't seen it in years. And I watched this when I got it. And oh boy, this movie wouldn't fly today. It's so racist. It's making fun of Chinese people and all sort of stuff. It is just, it, it's just, it's, I, I still really enjoy the movie, but no way this movie would fly today. It's just, it's, man, different times, just different times. So let's continue with the 4K titles. From Scream Factory, I picked up Evil Dead Remake. I had the, the this does include both editions of the movie, and I did have the Danish version of the unrated cut. I didn't have the regular cut, so well, that's I do believe. See, I do have the Blu-ray. I do believe that's only the unrated cut. It, or extended cut. Yeah, it is just the extended cut. So I, it, I love Evil Dead. I don't love this movie. It is the classic Evil Dead movies that I love. It's not a bad movie. I just don't love it nearly as much as other people do. I miss Bruce Campbell. That's that's pretty much what it comes down to. So yeah. But I have, it's Evil Dead, I'm picking up anything Evil Dead, so of course I had to pick up the 4K here. And just to have both editions on one release, I'm getting it. 
Return of the Living Dead, another upgrade. Did watch the Blu-ray not that long ago, so haven't gotten around to the 4K title here yet. But I do have, or I have seen a few videos on YouTube comparing the Blu-ray to the 4K. And I, I, I would say this is well worth the pickup, having the fire actually be yellow and the chemical smoke coming out of the chimney actually being green. That, that's well worth it to me. I do see people say it's a bit dark, but some of the colors that I see in the videos comparing the Blu-ray to the 4K, I would say this is a worthy upgrade. And I love this movie. It, if only we could get the, at least the second and third on 4K too. I don't care so much about 4 and 5, so... <laughs> yeah. Another worthy upgrade, Army of Darkness. Sadly, it's only... It does have... Let's see, there's four... I do believe there's four versions of the movie. Sadly, it's only one of the versions that's 4K. And I did have the steelbook of this, so it was one of the remaining steelbooks that wasn't the MCU steelbooks that I can now sell. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not a steelbook collector anymore, so anything that's not in the MCU line, I try to upgrade, downgrade, get the regular editions too, instead of the steelbooks. So, this was another worthy upgrade. More Evil Dead with Bruce Campbell. Of course I'm picking this one up. I would actually say Army of Darkness does hold a little bigger special spot for me than Evil Dead 2. I would say Army of Darkness, Evil Dead 2, Evil Dead 1 and Evil Dead the Remake and the TV show somewhere in between. <laughs> uh, another upgrade, this time from Vinegar Syndrome, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. And boy did they load this one up with special features. And I, I kind of enjoyed them doing it, these hard boxes, then slip cover really taking care of the releases and then of course the 4k time and just all that is special features i do have the screen factory blu-ray out of print screen factory blu-ray that i'm probably gonna sell that doesn't have nearly as much special features as this one does so. And, and I wanted the, the movie on 4K. I, uh, the Texas Chainsaw 2, that is my favorite by far. And now we just, I'm still wait, waiting on Second Sight to do the first one on 4K. And I would be surprised if we saw more on 4K. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't think we'll get more than the first two. Maybe the remix, but I wouldn't expect it. Also from Vinegar Syndrome, I picked up Amityville Horror. Another upgrade, I had the Steelbook from Savi of this one that I never actually watched. I have seen the movie before, I just never watched the Blu-ray of this movie before. I, I have sold that one. And now I picked up the 4K and I watched this last night. Really good transfer. Um, good movie. I just... It's not one... Uh, it, it, it is really effective uh, being scary. The sound or the music sound effects in this movie. If This is one of those movies where I bet if you turn down the volume or turn off the volume wouldn't have the same effect but some of the audio in this one had me going a bit but yeah good movie not the greatest it's a three out of five <sighs> next 
Long live the new Flash. Video drone from Arrow Video. Another upgrade where I never got around to watching the Blu-ray. I had seen the movie before. I had the standard edition from Arrow Video, which I, like I said, never got around to watching. So I upgraded to 4K now. It's 4K and I actually got a limited edition edition of it. <laughs> so double bonus I guess and also watched this one last night highly enjoyed this movie it, it is one of the better Cronenberg movies it's it's quite the trip and boy I can't believe this movie isn't even 90 minutes even the director's cut not even 90 minutes and it's just a really good movie and not even 90 minutes Makes you wonder why so many movies today have to be two, two and a half hour, three hour long movies. We don't need that long runtime for movies. It's, it's, this one's not even 90 minutes and rather effective. <laughs> and then finally, we have the Halloween 4K collection, 1995 to. 2002 so for those of you that picked this one up who's actually keeping the movies in this box huh? Huh? probably not a whole lot uh, at least they did these cases like they did the first patch and uh, yeah, I did see that it's there was a demand that they put them out in this box set for them to get the rights to release them. And I, I, I don't mind. I was going to pick up all three anyway. So, but this, this one, yeah. So first up we have Halloween, The Curse of Michael Myers. I like the movie. <laughs> H2O. I quite enjoyed this one. I, I would say this is a good movie. And then the dreaded Halloween Resurrection. Not a good movie. By any stretch of the imagination. But I'll still pick this one over any of the zombie movies. I, I'm actually glad that we don't have the zombie movies on 4Ks. Because I, I don't want them in the collection. But I know if they had put them out, I would be buying them just to complete the collection. <laughs> I, I, I really don't like the zombie movies. I, I, again, not a great movie by any stretch, but I, I'd rather have this in the collection than the zombie movies. So, yeah. Until Halloween Ends comes out here in Denmark, my Halloween collection is complete now. <laughs> so yeah, the final three Halloweens. And with that, my complete October update video is done. Please do hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and until next time, peace out. <laughs>